Coming right up, I'm going to show you how to make super tough plastic fabric out of stuff you have lying around the house. Knock, knock. Who's there? Dill Girl. Today I want to show you how to make a really strong, tough fabric that you can use for a million different things out of something you usually would either throw out or try to recycle or use for cat scooping. This is just a, a plastic bag and uh, when you laminate six layers of it together you get this really intense fabric and people are using it to make messenger bags and lampshades. The fun thing is that you can actually sew with it. You can just sew the stuff together. So look, here's an example. That's that kind of plastic bag laminated onto five layers of white plastic bag. But I can't tell you how strong and tough it is. It's great. So that's one. Then this is the same kind of thing, only with strips of gold and black laid between layers of white. And then I'm just going to throw it over there. And then this is like a quilting pattern, which is really kind of neat. You just take different diamonds of plastic bags. Isn't that cool? This is uh, sort of one of my favorite. It's very tough, and it's made from bubble wrap uh, layer sandwiched between some colored pieces of plastic. So you can really have a lot of fun with this. Like it makes like a snake skin. I love that one. Okay, so you want to know how to do it? Okay, I'm just going <laughs> to... Everything's going everywhere. That's the kind of day I'm having because it's craft day. I love craft day. Okay, this is um, a lampshade and it's very, very tough once you get it on the frame and then you can actually, if it's still puckery, you just hit it with a, just a hair dryer or a heat gun and it, it sucks it tight again so that it's not all puckery. Anyway, it's really fun. You can see it's tightening up there. You get a layer of parchment paper, which is the stuff you bake cookies on. It's silicone coated uh, paper. And I've got four layers of blue here and then clear. And then I put these stars in there, um, white. So then I'm going to put another layer of parchment paper over that like this. And I'm going to iron it. And the iron is on just above the synthetic setting. You can't have it too hot or it just ends up melting um, everything. It puts big holes in the plastic and it gets all puckery. So let's just see how this works. You can actually sew with it. It's so cool because even though it's tough, the needle on the sewing machine has no trouble piercing it. By the way, some people get mixed up between wax paper and parchment paper. If you use wax paper, you'll really gum up your iron. Kind of learned that the hard way. When I think it's all laminated together, I'll pull the iron off it. Let's take a look and see how we're doing. I've got some separation there. That just means I need a slightly hotter iron. This is also delaminating, but the stars are nicely stuck to the top clear layer. So I'll just keep going a little bit longer and then we'll uh, pull her out and see how she's doing. It, if the iron is too hot, the paper, see that? Oh, it's starting to shrink. It was kind of exciting though. Wow, it's alive. Anyway, I just think you should know that that can happen. So I've got my iron just a little too hot. And then over here, let's, I might as well just reveal the ugly truth. Yes, I have holes. Oh, well. But anyway, that's why, see, what it started to do is just like suck all together. But it would have been really nice. Anyway, that was just me being a, getting a little carried away, as my mother used to say, Maggie, calm down. The truth is, this, this part in here is really good. So I could turn that into a, you know, like a wallet or something like that. Like that's nice and tough. So people turn this stuff into um, messenger bags, tote bags, tool rolls, unbelievable cool things, barbecue covers. You just sew strips of it together, like a patchwork really, till you've got a great big piece of it. So you'll really enjoy that. Like these other samples, they were really good, except I threw them everywhere. <laughs> the other samples are really good, okay? So you try it at home and you'll be so happy you did. Let me just cover this up again. There we go. So now you know how to make super tough fabric. Let's pretend it worked. Do girl.